Hey guys, welcome back to the Design Cure. My name is Brian Lee and I'll be your instructor for this lesson. In the previous lesson, we looked at tricks and tools to quickly cut out and remove backgrounds from photographs. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to take a common front view of a table and manipulate it into a three-quarter view using one-point perspective. So with no further ado, let's get started. If you're looking for a shortcut to make beautiful rooms in Photoshop, check out our new design kit now available on the Design Cures website. It's made specifically for designers who want to spend less time on building rooms and more time on designing them. So as you probably already know, a lot of times the only images we can find on a vendor's website are front views or oddball three-quarter views. And having random items scattered about in a style board can be very confusing for a client. So we want to be able to understand how to take whatever image our vendor product comes in and manipulate it to fit the perspective of our space. In the following series of tutorial minis, I'll be going over how to take vendor images like sofas and tables and chairs into Photoshop and tweak them so that they sit in perspective in a given 3D space. So first up, let's talk tables. So here's a classic front view of a table that you come across within most vendor sites. At this point, I've already removed its background. And if you need a refresher on removing backgrounds, check out the previous lesson six. Now having this table as a front view is great if I just wanted to place it on the back wall, but I want to place this table on my left wall. So to get started here, I'm just going to duplicate this table layer by holding alt and dragging down. And then this table copy, um, I'm going to keep that and just turn the original table off. Just a non-destructive way of working. I like to keep that original in case I need to go back to it. So let's uh, hit V, the move tool, and drag this new copy over approximately to the place that I want it to end up in the future. Scale it up just a touch. And again, I'm looking at this left edge and um, I'm deciding how far away from the left wall it's gonna be. So I'm also looking at the depth of the table itself. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit M. Now let's zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna hold Command and hit Plus. Hold Space Bar and Pan Over. Hit M again to bring up the Marquee Tool. And I uh, just wanna select the front face of this table. I'm gonna hold Alt to deselect part of it. I don't want these little back feet. And that's looking pretty good. So then with my selection, I'm going to hit Command J. And that's going to put the front face on its own layer. I'm going to hit Command T to bring up the Transform tool. And then I'm just going to squeeze the table in approximately to where I want it to end up in the back. Now before I go any further, I'm going to hit Enter and leave that where it is. I'm going to turn on my perspective tool. And if you haven't learned how to create these lines yet, um, head back to lesson two, where I go over how to create one point perspective. Okay, so I'm going to now grab the table one more time by hitting Command T, Transform Tool. I'm going to right click, go to perspective, and then I'm going to squeeze this down and then pan it up. I'm just using my eye to kind of uh, make sure these lines, the distance between the feet and the green line are matching. And the, the top surface and the red line or the green line above it are approximately the same distance apart from front to back. And that looks decent. So I'm going to hit enter and just keep that. Cool, so let's make the left side panel now. I'm going to turn on the copy. I'm going to hold Shift, and with my Move tool selected, you can also pull that up by hitting V. Shift, drag over. And I'm just going to make sure it's, it's not going through the wall there. I want it to be on the floor. And then just use my arrow keys to just Make sure these corners line up and hold M, the marquee tool, select this 
remainder and delete it. And let's get rid of this little foot down there. Command D to deselect. Cool. So I'm liking how that's looking. It's good depth. We got the front in perspective. Uh, so we're almost done. I'm just going to open up that original table again. See, it's good that we held on to that. Uh, let's copy it up one more time. Drag this down. Hit M again uh, to bring up the marquee tool. I'm just going to select the top of the table. Then I'm going to hit Command J. That's going to take my selection and put it on its own layer. I'm going to hit V to bring up the Move tool. And then we're going to put this top panel into perspective. So I'm going to hit Command T. Before we do that, I just want to spread it out wide and uh, make it a little bit more opaque by duplicating the layer. Not the ideal situation to have this so blurry. So then I'm going to hit M, Marquee Tool, and just delete these blurry edges. I don't need all that brown stuff. And then you see how this is in perspective. I just want this to be flat for now. So I'm going to use the perspective tool to make these lines nice and horizontal. And see how much the transform tool comes into comes into play when I'm doing this kind of stuff. So I'm just removing these blurry edges. So that'll be all right for our purposes today. I'm going to hit Command T. Again, the transform tool. I want to make sure that these edges are lining up. Let's pan up. Then I'm going to drag this all the way down to basically the same height as the back edge, give or take. And that's going to help me um, put this in perspective. So I'm going to right click, go to perspective, drag it over. Not quite there, but I'll take care of that. I'm going to hit command, or just let's just right click again, go to free transform, and then just drag this out until it meets the back edge. And then we'll go back to perspective and squeeze it in. And now I just got to kind of line it up and make sure the perspective lines are working. Yeah, so that's looking pretty cool. All right. So I'd say we did a pretty good job here uh, putting that into 3D. Um, they, uh, from a different angle. Uh, let's turn this off and turn the original back on and see uh, if we just scale that down a little bit. Basically, uh, looks like it's in the same ballpark. In the following tutorial, I'll be going over two ways of how to tweak curtains so that they sit in perspective along a side wall. Keep in mind, we do have a downloadable template available on the Design Cares website built for all levels of Photoshop experience. It's filled with everything you need to quickly build custom rooms at the click of a button. Spend less time building rooms and more time on design. Again, be sure to subscribe to the channel and receive new tutorials every week that will help you master Photoshop for interior design. Thanks again for joining me and we'll see you next time.